Hi, this is Travis from POSGuys.com. Today we're going to take a look at the TC20 from Zebra. This is their most affordable of their mobile computers and it it's going to feel like a phone with a built-in barcode scanner. So this is the base TC20. The TC25 is the same thing except it has cellular radios in it. So if you want to throw a SIM card into it and use it out in the field, you can. The TC20 is Wi-Fi only, for so it's for using inside your Wi-Fi network, kind of inside the four walls and outside the four walls. The size of it, it's going to feel like an old cell phone. This is a cell phone from six, seven years ago. So you can see length width, it's about the same size. Height, it's a little thicker. It's going to feel like if you had something like a heavy duty case on your phone, it's going to feel about that thickness on it. Um, so overall, there's a lot of a cell phone feel and look to this unit where it makes it very uh, user friendly. You can put it in your pocket, it feels very comfortable. Uh, you can walk around the store and you don't look like you're lugging around one of the older brick style mobile computers. It is uh, modern, it runs modern apps. It has uh, optionally Google mobile services so you can go onto the Google Play Store, download apps, you can sideload apps if your app is only available through a sideload. Uh, and overall it's gonna work and feel uh, just like your phone but the barcode scanner is built in which is a really great convenience and it's actually a money saver for a lot of people. So when picking the TC20, there is a few different configurations. So which one do you need? Well, first you have to decide whether you're going to be using Git uh, off of a SIM card or off your Wi-Fi network. Uh, if you're going to be using it off your Wi-Fi network, then you want the TC20 model. The 25 designates uh, cellular use, so make that decision. Secondly, you're going to design decide whether you need a keypad or not. So here is the 10 key keypad and it's numeric only. And then this is the non keypad version. So the keypad adds a little bit to the height of it. It actually feels really good as far as just holding your hand. I actually kind of prefer the feel of the 10 key. It gives you a little more uh, bulk to the uh, mobile computer. So it feels really nice. Um, but if you don't need 10 keypad, you're just going to do scanning, you're not going to type in any quantities, uh, then the non-keypad way is the way to go. Uh, secondly, you're going to have to figure out whether you need um, to have the very industrialized scanner or the very basic scanner. So with your basic scanner, the aiming reticle is going to be a white light. So here it's going to look like a flashlight. So there's no dot, there's no line, it's just kind of bright light. However, it works fairly well. It's still a 2D scanner, so you can scan 2D barcodes, PDF 417s, QR codes, scan off phones. It works. Your more advanced scanner is going to be red, and you're going to see that aiming dot. So that's going to help you line things up. And if you're using like the pick list mode on it, then you can get very precise. You could scan a cluster of barcodes and pick out the exact barcode that you want scanning different 2D barcodes, PDF 17 QR code. It's going to pick it up really easily. Go back to real close. Basically, as long as you can make out the dot, you can scan. So those are both 2D barcodes. And then these are your conventional uh, one dimensional barcodes like um, UPC. Uh, three of nine and 128. So works really good. Even the smaller mill sizes here, be able to scan them no problem. On uh, the more basic of the barcode scanners, you don't have quite the range that you do of the other ones. So you have to get a lot closer. Turn up the volume here a little bit. Okay. So you're still able to scan it can't go back quite as well and you can't aim quite as easily. 1D really works pretty well though. Here I'm going to go back to the 2D with the more basic scanner. And you can still go back pretty far. So it's kind of up to you what 
you like, whether you want to uh, have the nice red dot or you rather have the white light. So the operating system of the unit is uh, pretty nice. It's close to stock Android. There's not too much uh, in the way of bloatware or excessive software on it. It's going to be what you expect. There's your, if you go with the GSM version, there's the, your usual Google, Google suite of apps. You know, you'll see your uh, email maps, a couple of your different um, usability suites on it. Uh, but with the Play Store, you can download whatever you need to. Uh, just pop into the store and it's all there. You can even download games if you want to play games uh, on it. You'll also get your Zebra suite of products on it. The Data Wedge is how you configure the barcode scanner on it. Uh, there's a couple RFID apps if you're going to be using the RFID attachment. You also can download things like Enterprise br uh, Browser, Enterprise Screen, StageNow, all to help you set up your scanner or to lock it down so that uh, only managers can have certain functions like all you can do is open up your company's app or all you can do is use a certain browser. Um, you won't be able to just kind of use it for uh, social media or something like that. Um, but normal Android is going to be your normal gesturing on it. Swipe down from the top, you get your menus, left, right. Your uh, little panel comes out of the bottom there. You can shortcut keys to it. Long press, drag and drop. Multi uh, swipes are available. Multi gesturing on it. So overall, it works uh, really nice. It's uh, smooth, and it has kind of the responsiveness of a mid-range phone. So maybe not your super high-end iPhone or Samsung phone but your kind of middle of the road phone, it, uh, it's gonna feel just like that. There are a couple of accessories available for the TC20. Uh, this is the pistol grip, and this is the pistol grip with RFID. So this bump here is your RFID antenna. Uh, so if you're looking to uh, switch to using RFID so that you can do a quicker inventory, you can scan kind of a big group of barcode scanners with a simple motion. Uh, or you're in a growing industry where you're using something delicate like plants and you don't want to ever touch the plant but you want to record what number it is. If you're using an RFID tag, you just have to be in proximity of the tag and you can scan it without touching it. So the pistol grip launches the scanner and wherever the cursor is on the screen is where it'll scan to. So 2D codes, 1D codes, it doesn't matter, just wherever you see that cursor is where it'll scan to. It uses friction to hold the mobile computer to the pistol grip, so you can pop it out, and then you can pop it back in, and hold it in place, so I give it a good shake, stop falling, you can hit it. And you can grab the computer. And it doesn't actually fall out. So it's in there pretty well. And then when you want to take it out, you just use your thumb and kind of pop it out. It would be nice if there was a screw or something like that to really ensure that it was locked in place. Uh, but the friction does work well. There also is a drop in cradle for charging and you can leave your pistol grip connected and you just drop it in place and it'll start charging. You'll see indicator lights on the side letting you know that it's charging. You can use it without the cradle, just pop out the unit and you just drop it in and then it's charging. If you don't want to buy the cradle, you want to save a little money, then you can use just a USB-C attached cable. There's just a little port in the bottom, and then you just plug it in. 
conditioning and charge via just a plain old cable and a USB adapter, power adapter that you would use like with your phone, just basic regular adapter that attaches to the cable. So overall, how does the TC20 stack up with other mobile computers or bring your own device options? It stacks up really well, mainly because its price point is so low. The most basic version of the TC20 without a camera, the basic scanner, and the smallest memory option, you're looking right around $500. That's, that's not bad if you're gonna bring your own device, if you're gonna use your old iPhone or Samsung Galaxy, and then tether in a Bluetooth barcode scanner, oftentimes you're gonna be spending $300 to $500 just for the Bluetooth barcode scanner. So having the scanner built into a device where you're not having to worry about dropping your own personal device uh, is a really good option on it, and uh, especially if you're going to use it um, with employees where um, you might not want them using your personal iPhone or more expensive phone or having to use their phones and then they break their device and you now you're responsible for it. So if you want to supply them with a device, the TC20 is a really good option, uh, one you should really consider. The more advanced versions cost a little bit more, uh, but you get the better scanner or you get the ability to plug into the pistol grip accessory if you want to use that for heavy, heavy scanning on it. So. More information on the TC20 or to purchase, please visit us at poskies.com. Thanks.